happy homemakers welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be part two of my home decor haul these are going to be items from Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Tree if you're just here for the haul skip to this number on the screen and I hope you all enjoy it and for everyone else sit tight because we are going to do a shop with me and I'm just going to show you an overview of everything that I saw and then we'll dive in and I'll show you everything that I purchased really quick if you're new here hello my name is Justine and on my channel I'm all about joyful motherhood natural living and an orderly and peaceful home. I'm all about encouraging mamas to invest in their husbands, children's, and to make their homes a beautiful and inviting space for their families. And one way I love to do that is through decorating. But really quickly before I dive in, I just wanted to say that it really is not about how much money you spend. It's about how much love you pour into your kids and the spirit that you try to bring to your home. You can do so much decor by doing DIY crafts with your kids, going to the Dollar Tree, or just baking some fall goodies at home which are things that I will be sharing on my channel um, so make sure you watch that but because I love home decor and I do make YouTube videos obviously I do spend a little bit of money at the stores um, and try to give you guys lots of inspiration when I do a clean and decorate with me video so stay tuned for that I'm really excited to be sharing these with you if you guys enjoy content like this let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and let me know what type of fall content you are looking forward to most on my channel. I read every single comment on my channel and I really want to make what you want to see and I cannot wait to share the upcoming content with you. So now that that's all out of the way, let's go shopping. This had been my first fall shopping trip at Hobby Lobby and oh my goodness, I was so not prepared for all the fall decor I found there. Everything was 40% off. I saw some really beautiful garlands, a lot of great ribbons for crafting, and they had so many decorative pumpkins. It was unbelievable. And they also had a ton of really fun little craft kits to do with the little ones, which I will definitely be going back and picking something out with Marcus and Coco because I think they would love it. Anyways, I was just trying to take it all in. There was a lot of decor. It was amazing. But I also loved how they had it split off into different styles so there was very like farmhouse shabby chic and then kind of more modern and then more natural and they had a ton of great signs I found some really big ones that I liked but I don't really have a place to put them right now I think my favorite part was the table settings. I found so much amazing stuff there. There were so many beautiful rustic wood trays and decorative napkin rings, and then there was a really beautiful white and gold section, which is right up my alley. I almost got those mugs and then this trivet over here because they were so gorgeous. Anyways, needless to say, I really enjoyed my shopping trip there and I got a lot of fun things. Okay, so I ended up spending about $47 at Hobby Lobby and I'm very happy with what I got. All their fall decor was 40% off there, which is fantastic. I loved it. I really loved all of the plates and spoon wrists and all that, but I do have stuff so I tried my best to just kind of um, bring fall touches into the plates I already have. That's why I have white plates because they're kind of more like a blank canvas that you can dress up like with a napkin ring or a little pumpkin on top, stuff like that. So anyways, I'll just show you the few items that I got there. There was so much I could have bought, but I was trying to be careful with how much I spent. Um, the first thing is this gather sign and I just thought it was such a beautiful touch. I'm not sure where I'm going to be putting it yet. It may go on top of a bookshelf or something, but I really loved it. It's actually quite heavy. It feels like ceramic or something. But anyways, this was about $7 on sale and I really love the textured look of it too. I think it's going to look so pretty wherever I put it. The next thing is something I loved as well. I'm not sure what a dish like this would be good for, so if you have any ideas, let me know down below. Maybe like some cookies or candy or nuts or something like that would do well in this um, plate, but I just thought it was so pretty. I try to stick with whites and then just do pops of color, but I also really love that this had just a little touch of gold around the edges. 
and this one was six dollars the next thing is something I've been looking for for a long time that I really needed and I just haven't liked anything I saw until I found these at Hobby Lobby it's just this set of I think it's bamboo they don't say bamboo they just say wooden um, but they are really really pretty each one says thankful blessed or grateful and I just like the touch of white on the handles um, and I think they were about three dollars a piece so I've been needing some new thick hand towels because they just seem to last a lot longer in the kitchen so I got these orange ones thinking they would look really cute for fall and they do they're really cute orange color and they're the nice thick dish towel that I think will last a little bit longer they were about four dollars a piece I want to say um, it's kind of hard to tell because it 40% off I'm not very fast at math but anyways I think they were about four dollars on hindsight I was kind of kicking myself wishing I had gone with the gray but this is definitely more festive and I think Marcus and Coco will enjoy it more in our kitchen and the last thing I got at Hobby Lobby were was this pillow I did find some good ones at Target you guys can watch my last video for um to see what was in Target and this is the only pillow that I'm gonna get um to put on my sofa because I don't like to go over the top with the decorating but I do like to sprinkle it throughout the house so that every room feels like it has a touch of fall in it okay so that's everything I got at home goods and now really quickly I'll take you around the Dollar Tree and every year I'm just surprised at what you can find at the Dollar Tree some things are so much more expensive looking than what they are so you can really get a lot of great stuff for so inexpensive at the Dollar Tree that is the first place I looked and I encourage you guys to do that as well So first thing when you walk into the Dollar Tree, there's this wall of crafts and activities that you can do with toddlers. I thought there were some great things, especially for the price. I know Marcus and Coco would really enjoy painting any of those little wooden figures. Um, and then there were a couple sets that Marcus just grabbed himself and put in our cart. So I think he thought they were a good idea too. There were a lot of signs, but honestly, I just felt like they looked... Um, a little too colorful, not quite the look that I was going for, but there was a lot of great fall foliage. I always get some there for the fall season because it's such a great price. There were a lot of great options for fall figurines and pumpkins, um, and I, I ended up getting quite a few because I felt like they looked like such great quality for only a dollar. I also like checking the candle section because you can find such great ones there for only a dollar. Um, I think these mason jar lidded ones would be perfect for fall or any of the orange or metallic ones would fit right in with fall decor. So I already have some of this leaf garland which I like to put in places like along in front of the TV and then also underneath my console table along there just to add a touch of fall. I have three of them. They have all different types of leaves. I think it was Target but they had like some brown and slightly olive colored leaves um, in wreaths and garlands and I really really love that look but I'll probably just go with these because they're going to be in places where Marcus and Coco can touch so if they get into it and ruin something I'd rather it was just a dollar um, and instead of something expensive from Target so that is why I'm just going to continue to go with those they are just such a great price and very family friendly. I also got these I think this year I'm just gonna do like a tablescape with some pumpkins and then maybe tuck these um, berries inside of that because I really like adding a lot of white to things I just think it looks really pretty um, these were a dollar each they don't look I mean they don't look horrible but they definitely you can tell they're not like very very made to look real kind of berries but they are a very good price so they will do for sure and after that I just got a ton of pumpkins I don't know if I'm gonna have a place for all of these um, but I did want to show you guys the things I really did like this is the first one which I love and I kind of want to get a couple more I got this for my desk but I think it is so cute um, very simple and I can't believe it was just a dollar they also had a ton of these pumpkins which I think were great I wish I would have gotten some more because I think they would have looked really pretty on each place place setting um, but they were only a dollar and they have they're more than just these white pumpkins and they actually have like this imprint of a leaf around the outside um, and they're very cute there's two styles one's tall and one's flat there's also two colors if I can find it really quickly 
so there's this dark pumpkin one too. So these next pumpkins I am not quite sure about but Marcus and Chloe love them so I may end up putting them like in the shelves to decorate their room because that is one area that they love it when I decorate so if it's only from the Dollar Tree and they ruin it it's no big deal. But I got some very bedazzled pumpkins. The only problem is I have to put it out of reach of the kids because they they will scratch off all the beads that are I think it's beads it's not really beads but anyways I think they're really pretty these are definitely a little bit more bedazzled than I usually go um, but they were really pretty as well so I got five of those in all different colors and then these are probably the ones that I will end up using for a place setting or maybe the centerpiece we'll see you guys will have to find out in my fall clean and decorate with me video but, but I just thought these were really pretty natural tone pumpkins and I definitely think these are going to be the centerpiece because they are so pretty. They're not the most expensive looking, but I think all together with some pretty leaves and berries, um, it's going to be a really beautiful centerpiece. And I love mixing different textures and fabrics and stuff like that. So I think, and colors, I think these tones all look really nice together. I have five of them. Um, but I love mixing different fabrics together. So I think the sheen of these pumpkins will look really nice against the cotton tablecloth. Anyways, the last thing is this candle. It's not technically fall because it is um, bergamot ginger <laughs> scented, but I just thought it was orange and it will add a festive splash of color somewhere. Um, if you guys know me, I usually burn essential oil scented candles only because others make me sneeze, but I thought this would make a great little gift or I could melt the wax inside and just put a tea light in there very simple fix. Anyways, they have a lot of these glass jar ones in different colors, um, and I just think that they're such a fantastic... Uh, the other day I got a thing of cookie butter from the dollar store and a candle. I'll just show you the candle that I got. So I got a little jar of cookie butter and this candle in pink, and I just used that as a hostess gift, and it looked really cute, really adorable jar. Um, I'll try to show you guys a close-up because this looks like something you'd find in anthropology or something. And it was just a really inexpensive but beautiful gift. So anyways, that is the end of this haul. I hope you guys got some great ideas of what is out at the store. Check Dollar Tree first because they have some amazing finds. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, please give this video a thumbs like before you head out. I hope you are all having a wonderful fall. Don't forget to let me know what you guys want to see on this channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.